Do you think that the princess that often appears in fairy tales is like this? Then it's wrong, so wrong. In fact, there is no such thing. Are you really surprised? What makes you unbelievable is. They are sisters. Actually, the red hair queen when she was younger was cuter than the white hair queen. When the two of them were young. The white hair queen stole the cake. The crumbs fell to the ground. The white haired queen pushed the crumbs under the red haired queen's bed. At this time, the queen found out. There are crumbs under the bed. Strictly admonish them and ask them who did it. But the queen of white hair lies. Not admitting that she ate. The empress put this all on the head of the red haired queen. Angry red haired queen. Unjustly ran out the door. The result is not careful falling and hitting the stairs. Thenceforward, she became a big head. Later when they are adults. The king is about to take the throne for the red haired queen. Big. The crown was too small and fell to the ground. Make fun of the people there. The red haired queen told everyone not to laugh at her. But they laugh more, since she became a big head. Always encounter the satirical satire of the outside world. The red haired queen is extremely angry. Shouting out loud who is laughing will kill that person. The king heard her say that. I feel that the queen of red hair is too cruel. The decision to dethrone the red haired queen. And give the crown back to the white haired queen. The red haired queen has been upset for many years. Now she couldn't take it anymore and got mad. Decided to leave this painful place. After she burned the palace. Take the dragon Jabberwocky and get out of here. Going to a place far away rebuilding her own magnificent new stronghold kingdom. Take a look at how many years have passed. The red haired queen and the white haired queen decide to fight once. Whoever wins will inherit the throne. The dragon. The white haired queen wants to win. Then she needs the Vorpal Sword. Found a girl named Alice. Only able to defeat the dragon Jabberwocky. This girl is Alice. She always has strange dreams. Dream that you are beautiful in Wonderland. Soon Alice becomes a beautiful girl. Because her father passed away. She lives with her mother. To become a noble in the tribe. There is no other way her mother wants to marry Alice to Prince Hamish the rich Ascot family. But Alice doesn't know. This party is the engagement party her mother prepared for her. A good friend tells Alice the truth. It was when Prince Hamish proposed to her. Alice saw a rabbit waving towards her. She doesn't care about a noble's marriage proposal. Go find that rabbit. Alice discovers a giant tree cave. She looked down curiously, but don't be careful to fall into it. Alice goes to a secret room. And see on the table there is a potion. Along with the reminder, room. She found a cake. Just ate a piece. The body suddenly grew big and never stopped growing. Clothes are getting shorter and shorter. Very quickly reached the top of the house. She looked down and saw a key and a potion. Remind her to, drink me. For a moment she turned into a tiny person. Use the key to open the mysterious door and find out. She came to a wonderland world. Alice also saw that rabbit. There's also Dormouse and the twins Tweedledum and Tweedledee. They brought Alice here. There's also an Absalom caterpillar there. Caterpillar Absalom told her soon. There will be a fierce battle here. Now get the Vorpal Sword. Alice must keep the treasure sword in her hand. Just managed to defeat the Jabberwocky dragon there. Just when Alice couldn't believe everything before her eyes. The red-haired queen subordinate who is a large beast has come here. People are afraid to run around. The most dangerous moment Dormouse Rat stabs the fierce bean. Claws hurt Alice. Alice and her companions quickly leave this place. But the subordinate of the red-haired queen. The K army discovered the Vorpal Sword. Very quickly the red-haired queen knew. Alice will slay her dragon Jabberwocky. Order the K army to go after Alice. Alice got lost in the forest. Meet a Cheshire cat. Still kind enough to heal her wounds. Then show Alice to that dilapidated building. Seeing the Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter is big and no soon. Alice will slay the dragon Jabberwocky. But Alice doesn't want to join the battle to slay the Jabberwocky dragon. Very quickly the K army came here. Mad Hatter hastily gave her a potion. And put her in the teapot. The dog has smelled her. But the Mad Hatter said to the dog. Alice will soon slay the dragon Jabberwocky. The dog chooses to help the Mad Hatter and protect Alice. Take the K army to find another place. Mad Hatter is about to take Alice to the White Hair Queen. He put Alice on his hat. Throw it to the other side of the river. But the Mad Hatter was captured by the K army. The dog that told Alice about its family members was all taken away by the Red Queen. It has no choice but to force the Mad Hatter to report the results of the quest. After hearing that, Alice decided to take a risk to save the Mad Hatter. Under the dog's help, they go to the red-haired queen's fortress. This is the cruelest woman they have ever met. Take the hedgehog as her ball. The hedgehog is so scared that it's trembling. 
but was shot out by the queen of red hair with big head. Everyone around applauded, now Alice is standing outside the flower garden. The red-haired queen saw her, and see Alice as an ugly giant. Queen of red hair because of her big head dough, so she likes to socialize with people with weird bodies. She treated Alice very enthusiastically. In the evening Alice goes looking for the Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter tells her to hurry and find the sword. But the divine sword is in the care of the ferocious beast. Alice seeing the big beast with no eyes was really distressed. Tell the Dormouse Chipmunk to give it back its eyes. Beast for thanking Alice for allowing her to easily obtain that divine sword. At this time, the K army is back. Tell the red-haired queen that the girl is Alice. She immediately gave the order to arrest Alice. The big beast took Alice to the palace of the white-haired queen. Haired queen uses the potion she made. Add a drop of her saliva. Making miniature pills. Give Alice a drink. Very quickly Alice returned to normal. Just enough body. Mad Hatter in front of the red-haired queen. Expose the fake people. The red-haired queen was tricked by others. Order to kill all of them. Mad Hatter took the opportunity to take the family and everyone away. Arriving in front of the white-haired queen's palace. The magic day is coming. But Alice still hasn't had the courage to slay the Jabberwocky dragon. Today the white-haired queen sends her army. White is like a chess piece. The red-haired queen carries the red K army. The two sides begin to decide. The white-haired queen wants to reconcile with the red-haired queen. But the red-haired queen didn't let it go because of her childhood story. At this time, Alice also bravely stood up. The red-haired queen orders the Jabberwocky dragon to fight. Critical moment Alice sees a good opportunity. Successfully slaying the dragon Jabberwocky. The red-haired queen's K army all put down their weapons. The white-haired queen also sincerely apologized to her sister. If she goes back to her childhood, she won't steal that cake again. Their queen will not blame her sister. Something like this won't happen. The tough red-haired queen finally softens her heart. After all these years, she's still waiting for her sister's apology. The two are back to being as close as ever. Fairy tales tell us that. When you make a mistake, you should have the courage to admit it. Otherwise lies will cause big problems. Only the brave heart to face can solve it.